Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today's topic of our discussion is difference between global and local sequence alignment. At the end of the discussion, you will be able to understand what is sequence alignment, what is the difference between pairwise and multiple sequence alignment, what is the difference between global and local alignment, and also why do we align sequences within 5 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin with the definition of sequence alignment. Sequence alignment is a procedure of comparing two or multiple sequences by searching for a series of individual characters or patterns that are in the same order in the sequences. It is simply aligning sequences to find out the matches between these sequences. Let's take an example. First type of alignment is called as pairwise alignment where two sequences are compared or aligned. Suppose this is a first sequence which is a query sequence. Now the target sequence is aligned. The second se sequence that is of species 2, this is species 1 and this is species 2 that is aligned. Matches is represented as solid lines and mismatches as you can see these dots or caps. If two sequences are aligned like this, then it is called as pairwise alignment. The second type of alignment is multiple sequence alignment, where more than two sequences are compared like this. These are protein sequences or amino acids. Many species, amino acids of many species of a protein is aligned, where more than two sequences are aligned, therefore called as multiple sequence alignment. Moving into global and local alignment. First of all, starting with why this name. In the case of global alignment, it is meant to align the entire sequence. Let's take an example. So this is called the global alignment. Here the entire sequence from the beginning to the end is aligned or it can be called as end-to-end -end alignment. A sequence is placed one above the other, aligning completely or globally, totally. Whereas in the case of local alignment, an attempt is made to align local regions with the highest level of similarity. Here, like this, we are aligning only stretches or certain regions of the sequence which is having the highest similarity. Here you can see we have taken this much only, this region only, without considering the rest of the sequence. So locally aligning, that is why it is called as local alignment. Local regions of high similarity is selected for alignment. Moving into the difference number two, requirement or the suitability of using these type of alignment. In the case of global alignment, it is suitable for aligning two closely related sequences. So as we are aligning completely, the size of the sequence should be similar. Otherwise, we can't completely align this sequence. Let's zoom in these. This is hemoglobin subunit alpha. In the case of human and also mouse, this hemoglobin subunit alpha has 142 amino acids. So we can align it globally or entire alignment, complete alignment is possible. So I have used this emboss needle, which is a tool for pairwise sequence alignment and also for global alignment. So from the first am amino acid to the 142nd amino acid, we have aligned and this solid line indicates the matches and this dots indicates the mismatches. The similarity is 131 out of 142, close to 92.3%. So global alignment is possible with related sequences or sequences of similar length. Or homologous genes, that means genes with similar function often are having same number of amino acids or same number of nucleotide bases. Whereas in the case of local alignment, it is suitable for aligning more divergent sequences or unrelated sequences. So we are aligning such sequences to find out conserved patterns in DNA or protein sequences. Conserved patterns means between species there may be some sequences that is conserved or that is maintained constantly without any change during evolution. So this is an example. Histone 1 
of different species like humans, chim, mouse, rat, cow, you can see that we have taken only the residues 120 to 180 amino acid of this particular protein that is histone protein. So you can see the star indicates the conserved regions and there are some non-conserved regions also in between. So we have locally aligned this sequence. We have taken only the amino acid residues from 120 to 180. That is why we call it as local alignment. So it's good for aligning unrelated sequences to find out patterns like this or conserved sequences like this. Difference number three regarding tools and algorithms. In the case of global alignment, Needleman Wunsch algorithm is widely used. The tools include embossed needle, then there is specialized blast, and this is embossed needle. So you can see this pairwise alignment. Then there is nucleotide blast, which is a specialized blast for global alignment. Blast is generally used for local alignment, but now we have a specialized blast which is used for global alignment. Whereas in the case of local alignment, smith walterman algorithm is commonly used tools include blast basic local alignment search tool then there is impose water of ebi european bioinformatics institute both are from this embossed needle and embossed water both from ebi that is used for local alignment now why do we align sequences what's the purpose of aligning sequences sequence alignment is used for discovering structural functional and evolutionary information of sequences. If I have a sequence, a newly sequenced gene, if I am aligning with the sequence of the database, thousands of sequences on the database, then I could easily find out the matches and I could even predict the function of the sequence based on the similarity. And the second function is to find out conserved sequences as we have discussed already and also to predict gene families. Gene families refers to genes that arises from a single gene by duplication event, gene duplication. To find out the evolutionary relationship between gene sequences and also protein sequences, whether it is having a common ancestry or not. And these are the references I used. You can log into the site blast.ncbi.nlm.nih. So this is for local alignment. This is the normal blast. Then when we scroll down, you can see this specialized blast that is meant for global alignment. Then this is the ebi.ac.uk slash tools, where you can see this global alignment. The tool is needle embos. Then there is embos stretcher. Then for local alignment, there is water impose. It's very simple to use, very efficient tools for aligning sequences. And that's it. Thank you so much for your support. If you find this video useful, please subscribe, share and like this channel.